up, grab my tail, pass it on. 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 Grab my... Oh, crumb, I always fall for that one. <laughs> Neat trick, T-Rex, but you can't hang up there forever. <laughs> Nowhere to go but down. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I got the power to fix that switch and close that floor. Oh, great work, Bugsy. You got us in an even bigger mess than before. Interesting problems demand imaginative solutions. A few elementary equations. At a 90-degree trajectory, the summit of the hypotenuse will match the base of the pit. Never mind the hypotenuse. Get us a net, a mattress, a trampoline. No time for that, I'm afraid. Darn right, we're sliding fast. Just a few seconds more. And we'll be shish kebabs. And we still got six payments to go on the Rexmobile. So at least we're not the only ones who get stuck. If my calculations are correct, your trajectory will carry you yeah! to the exact center of the pit. Uh, uh, oh. Whoa! Phew. Talk about your dramatic resolutions. If we want to track down those stolen Komodos, we should be hitting the streets. Not looking through trash cans. Clues are where you find them, gentlemen. A clue? Ed, sailing high 88. Now, what's that mean? <laughs> maybe that's how far Big Boss can throw Little Boss. Or maybe it's his shoe size. No, it's a golf score. Big Boss has been swinging at the tees. Or he's about to sail the seas. Say again? Well, sailing could refer to a ship and high to high tide. And 88 to Pier 88. Which means we're off to the harbor. Watch what you're doing, cuddles. Drop those kimonos and I'll drop you. Yeah, 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 BB, you tell him. Drop the kimonos and you'll drop him. Last one, boss. What do you want it? In the hold with the others. That's what B.B. said. Y you, you heard B.B. Don't call me B.B. Now, let's move. Up anchor. Slow ahead, both. Head for the open sea. Oh, dear. They seem to be leaving. How do we stop them? I have a plan. One, ready. T-Rex two, ready. T-Rex three, ready, willing, and able. Well, good luck, Ginger. I mean, Mrs. Marbles, if you please. Oh, finally. Ooh, what a disgusting old ship. Uh, who the Willy Wonka are you? I'm a Rep City Sanitation Inspector, and I have very bad news for you, Captain, whoever you are. This vessel is... Filthy. And until you clean it up, you can't set sail. Buzz off, lady. This ship is sailing. Now! By the power vested in me by the Rep City Sanitation Department, I absolutely forbid... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> hey, that ain't no sanitation officer. That's Ginger! <laughs> Ooh, the, the name is, is Mrs. Marbles, and it would seem, as they say, <laughs> Ooh, the jig is up. Get that dame! You, T-Rex, I'm in need of assistance. Whoa, request received. Assistance on its way. <laughs> Are we getting the hang of these Darren rescues or what? When I find that nosy, noisy dame, she'll wish she'd never been born. Get a leap on Bernie! Mrs. Marbles needs us! Hang on! Uh, hang on? To what? 
your hat if you had one. Whoa! I want them! It's those T-Rex bozos! Get him! Get him! Get him! And it's a home run! Exit, stage left. Where are you going, Shooter? The party's just getting started. Can't we talk about this? No! Hoist away! One horse coming right up. Surrender, big boss. Your reign of terror has ended. That's what you think. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what you think. That's what you think. Can the Echo have fight? You're giving me a headache. Smart move, big boss. You're good and trapped. I think. <laughs> bye bye, T Rex. <laughs> Follow that auto gyro. I'll hook that flying fish and pull it down the side. My day. <laughs> you got that right, BB. It just ain't your. <laughs> what a nice kimono. But why does it look so familiar? Uh, keep it, Mrs. Marbles. You've earned it. Yeah, thanks to you, Rep City is once again safe for the kimono clad. Mr. High and Mighty Big Boss. Ooh, yes. Tell us why you were so bent on stealing those pretty kimonos. Yeah, boss, come on, tell us. <sighs> Little boss here was reading an old book he found at the library. Y yeah, yeah, this book says there's a treasure map woven into the designs on one of those kimonos. All you got to do is find the map. Yeah, yeah, the treasure's worth millions, and the map's on a kimono, no, in a kimono. <laughs> You're referring, of course, to the lost treasure of Sarah Padre. What, you know about this treasure? I should. I invented it. I wrote the story. I called it The Case of the Cryptic Kimono. <laughs> it's just a novel, little boss. Fiction. Something Mrs. Marbles here dreamed up to entertain no-brain squirts like you. <laughs> you mean it's not real? Yeah. But the pain you're going to feel, that's going to be real. Stop in the name of the law! Keep it for you, okay, Mrs. Marbles? Marbles? What marbles? Uh, can you identify yourself? Yep, that's me, all right. <laughs> Welcome back, Ginger. Thanks. Uh, where'd I go? Well, Jen Jen, it's a long story, and, uh, we've run out of time. Yeah, just be glad you got your kimono back, even though you lost your mom.